Hello chess lovers, I have a very interesting game for you played by a Chinese international master Liu Wenzhe and Dutch chess grandmaster Jan Donner. The game was played at 1978 Chess Olympiad. But before we proceed with our game, a brief historical remark. In round 1 of the Olympiad, China won a famous victory over Iceland. Amongst the casualties was Grandmaster Zigurionsen who lost to Ki Yung Xuan. Coming upon Zigurionsen, Donner had attempted to console him with the following unfortunate choice of words. Tell me, Grandmaster, how can a Western European Grandmaster lose to a Chinaman? In round 8, the Chinese played Holland and the unlucky Donner got an answer to his question. Let's see how the game went on. White started with e4, d6 by Donner, d4, knight f6, knight c3, black goes for pierce defense, bishop e2, bishop g7, and white goes for a Chinese variation, a very aggressive line, h6, preventing any g5 move by white, h3, it's not quite clear the idea of playing h3, because after c5, d5 and castling, we see h4. White is as if losing a tempo. e6 by black, a bad move. A better move is knight h7. And if in this case white plays g5, black can simply close the kingside by playing h5. But when you are playing e6, white can play this g5 move and already you have to take on g5. White takes on g5 and this h file is opened and which gives white a great attacking chances. Knight retreats to e8 square, queen d3. White has a very simple idea to bring his queen to h3 and then checkmate on h7. e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight c6 and now if you have noticed the h3 square is controlled by the bishop. So white comes up with another idea to bring the queen to g3 square and then to h4 and then queen h7. Queen g3 we see in the game, bishop e6 and queen h4. f5 opening up a space for the king to escape, queen h7 check, king f7. And now an amazing move by white, can you pause the video and try to find the solution? Ready? Queen takes g6 check, sacrificing the queen. Black took on g6 and now bishop h5 check. King h7, bishop f7 check. Bishop h6, now comes g6. King g7 and bishop takes h6 check. And in this position black resigned because there is a checkmate into if for example king h8 then simply bishop takes f8 check. Queen h4, rook takes h4, and this is a checkmate. What an amazing checkmate. Let's have a look at that variation once again. Queen takes g6, king takes g6, and bishop h5 check. This rook and bishop collaboration is just amazing. Bishop h6 and white is simply checkmating his opponent. A very beautiful game. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.